Okay, I forgot my tripod. I'm not going to run back in and get it. I'm a hot mess. I don't care. I have been vacuuming up there. I'm going to finish vacuuming. I just got this little section to do. So hang out with me while I finish it. Okay, for now, I'm going to leave that up there out of my way because I need to sweep and all that. So, I'm going to run in and get my tripod because I think it'll be much easier. I'll be right back. Ah, uh, where's my pause button on this one? <laughs> okay, so this would work much better. Those steps are still damp. I'm sure that the table is still damp. You couldn't tell I brushed my hair and everything this morning. I'm just, it's very humid out. That's a lot cooler than it has been. I mean, all those need to be wiped down. The walls and ceiling need to be wiped down. All the walls do. But right now I need to clean the insides of these cabinets. So, I have some trash. Um, because I'm going to vacuum all of this out, I need to physically get in there. Now I could have plugged that thing in and used it. So all this stuff, that's a hose or something, I don't know what it is, but everything that has to be kept has to go in the box. So, um, these are probably going to go up top. I have no clue. Whoops. That actually goes to the camper. Like stuff that I know beyond a doubt goes to the camper. I'm keeping it top side. That's the cover. Okay, so I'm going to vacuum out the bottom of that. That's ready to vacuum out. So I'm going to take the vacuum down, put you all the way back here, and start sucking out stuff.
part of the time getting in all the little corners. Watch. I guess I didn't take you all the way to the floor, guys. Look at that. <laughs> something. I was kind of worried about one thing. And um, let me get this out of the way. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm looking at. I've, uh, sorry about that. Um, this box here, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm pointing at. It's like, I don't know if my phone is seeing it. Anyways, I'll put a picture of it. Anyways, it's a control panel. Um, it is actually wired and it is wired over the air so it can easily be moved I was worried because if I'm not mistaken it's like a reset switch for the furnace which is uh, propane LP liquid propane and I was kind of worried about when I take this out, how hard is it going to be to move that box? But it actually comes in from that wall. So, no problem. <laughs> I was worried about that. So, I'm going to pause you and clean the other side. I know I had a lady give me flack. I deleted her comment. But guys, would you seriously? Look how... That's gross. That ain't happening. I'm sorry. This is going to get loud. I'm sorry. I'm going to just clean under the bathroom sink and in the kitty quarters, just like under these.
as you take this out and uh, get rid of the mop water off your back. One thing I'll tell you about that little AC, it'll freeze your butt out of here. So, this is just a little bit of trash in there. One thing is, I could do housework in here and be completely done, wipe everything down, sweep, vacuum, like in half an hour. <laughs> Dishes and all. But I've gotten into the habit of, you know, after I eat, I, I wash up my dishes right away. So I really don't ever seem to have any dishes to wash. So, you know, there's that. Unless I'm cooking a big meal, like, um, I want to do my chili and all that, so. Didn't mean to turn my back to everybody, but I forgot to bring a you know, not a trash pan. Um, oh, dust pan. There's not one in here. Forgot that. So I'll just kind of leave my pile right there so it's not in the way. I should sweep it right out the door. It's just dust. Normally I wouldn't do that. But I picked up all the like papers and that. It's just basic floor dust and things. That's all that was. So that's all taken care of. Alright. I have to go get a bucket of water. I'll be right back. Okay. I am getting ready to mop, but I have like corners and edges that I'm not going to be able to get the mop into. So I am spraying all of those spots with just my scrubbing bubbles. And then I'm going to go through with, um, a scrub butt sponge and um, clean all those literally on my hands and knees because I want all that dirt gone. In any place I see like spots that um, it's going to take extra cleaning like there's some kind of gunky food stuck under there. Um, I'm just going to get it sprayed and let it set and then I'm going to go ahead and mop. Okay guys 
Ew. I feel humiliated. You know how I hate other people's dirt? I scrubbed those benches yesterday. I used, um, like, carpet and upholstery cleaner on them. Okay? I just, in order to get to the floor and scrub all around the edges of the benches, the part that touches the floor and under... Oh, guys, the smell of human pee. And my face is right there. And my body was on it. No, 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 that shit ain't staying. Because if you sit on it, you're going to smell like pee, too. I'm like, I'm gross, okay? I'm disgusted. And I'm like... <laughs> okay. Um... I have a bucket of clean water, okay? Cleaning the toilet did not gross me out, okay? I used to work at not just one place, but I've worked at several places, hotels, motels, and a big resort, okay? Um, the one resort I worked at, you had yellow gloves like those. But if there was stuff stuck in the toilet, you had to reach your hand in there to clean it out, okay? And that was expected. That was not maintenance jobs. That was the maid's job. And, and they didn't call you a maid. You were a chambermaid, okay? That's how, how they had you labeled. But that grossed me out, okay? That was disgusting. And now, I mean, I don't smell like pee, but that cushion does. That's going. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. Okay, so, hold on a second. I know this isn't, like, I mean, it's a camper, and they probably had kids, and kids pee, but that was gross that I had to lay on that to clean the floor, because I wanted to scrub all of the edges. Alright, back to mopping. wipe the dirt off the bottom of my shoe. So I'm going to step over here. I'm not leaving dirty footprints. Just like that. I'm going to move you over here while I finish mapping this. Sorry. 
guys. Put this in there. Let the mop soak. And put you back over here out of the way of the fan. What I do with that nasty ass sponge. We're going to soak the dirt out of that too. Alright, um, I need a piece of paper towel. How about I use the one I wipe my face with to get in this corner? I'm gonna wipe up the dirt I had there. Okay. Oh look, we have a nickel or something. <coughs> okay. I'm gonna turn you around so I can talk. Alright. That can go right there with those. So where am I at? Um I've Vacuum swept, mopped, cleaned the toilet, which really wasn't bad. We poured water down all the drains. The toilet, the bath, bathroom sink, did not do the tub. Um, I imagine it's okay because it all hooks in together. Um, and I hand mop, hand mop, you know, I did it by hand. Um, I have a window right directly behind me, so, alright, hand, you know, by hand map the bathroom, because it's such a small area, so I didn't show you me doing that, and, uh, I'm going to take my hair down now, <laughs> um, so everything's swept and mopped and vacuumed, and next step is I need to clean, wipe out all the cupboards, Wipe down all the surfaces and um, uh, start bringing stuff in. Um, those benches have to go. The pea smell was just, um, I can't do that. It just, it's, especially, it seems how I want to get a little dog. I don't want the human pea smell in here to, uh, you know, entice an animal to pee. Um, besides, I don't want people coming in here sitting on those because we were thinking about keeping one bench and just putting my table up to the bench and that way we have extra space in case I wanted to have more company than just one person. Um, but uh, there's no way to get rid of that smell unless I build an entire put an entire new cushion, which I can do. I can like, you know, get the right size foam, um, or just a, what do you call them that you buy, um, for outdoor furniture, um, a cushion for outdoor furniture put in there. I could do that. Um, and then we're only removing this and putting my table, which is what I kind of want to do. Um. So, yeah, my ideas have changed because when I started cleaning and, oh, by the way, check this out. Let me open it and let me show you. Let me pull you up where you can see this because, guys, look at, remember how dirty that was? Washed it last night, put it outside to dry, and, uh, yeah. Um, so, like I said, I kind of, it is a retro camper, and a lot of the stuff is original. I do not like this. I do want to change it, and this needs a new blind. Um, there is white blinds there. This did work. I had a hard time getting it to go up. Um, uh, but I, I want to cover these, um, to kind of be a little sunnier. It's no, no big deal. Um, so that's going to happen. Um, I like the retro vibe of this. Um, I'm glad that I got 
the carpeting cleaner. I do have to clean up where the bed goes. That's really nasty. There's been like drinks spill up there. So I'm really close to starting to move in. Another uh, day of cleaning. Um, I do need a break. It does need the roof sealed. Uh, Alan got up there and looked yesterday and it, the guy said, oh yeah, it's sealed, it's clean, it doesn't leak. I think it only didn't leak because we haven't had rain. Um, or it just may not have leaked yet. But yeah is the operative word. So it does need some sealer taken to it. Um, I really do like its vibe. Um, it's quirky, it's older. Um, yeah, I like it. So, um, I just want to keep going and um, changing the direction I was going to go with it and just keep keep on keeping on. And um, I've gotten some good suggestions not only on YouTube for names but on um, Facebook and just friends in general saying, hey, how about this? How about that? And uh, so... We'll see. Alright guys, I'll talk to all of you guys down in the comments. Thanks for hanging out. I know this is a longer video. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, so if you guys want to go tiny, I know the camper isn't always the best way, but when you're talking building, even getting one of those um, shed to tiny home things, you're looking at expenses of insulation, inside boards, the plumbing, the electricity, all that, and you add it up, this is cheaper. It's already done for you. Just be careful what to look for because there's a lot of things that could go wrong. <laughs> and uh, don't always take people's words for, especially the roof. Take a ladder. Look at it yourself. Bye, guys. I'll talk to you guys down in the comments.